Hello Power Users, Zbigniew Fulkowski here and today we will talk about how to implement a wait condition if you need it in Power Apps. So let's get ourselves going right away and generally speaking the wait is a problem in Power Apps. There is no condition on controls to implement the wait directly. You cannot wait a couple of seconds just for a button to appear or to grade out or to make it uh, uh, visible etc. In order to achieve this we will have to use our timer control sadly. So let's create a really simple example. Let's create two buttons. Hop. And one timer control. We won't be talking about deadline today. Let's name it process. This one will be, I don't know, navigate to final screen. Cool. We want to process our solution and we want to wait five seconds before the navigate to final screen will be visible. Why? Maybe there are some background processes uh, which uh, you want your user to see or you can just hypothetically uh, use it in the pop-up window etc we won't be discussing why we want to do it usually it won't be in uh, in the line with the clean code policy we should all take care of but sometimes if the process is complicated and for example you will need to call power automate just to just to view the navigate to final screen button is visible maybe that's an overkill sometimes yes sometimes no it all depends you know okay so in this process button when we click this process button we want to start the timer and we want to wait five seconds before this navigate to final screen will be visible first of all on the process let's create a variable let's set this variable let's give it a name like timer 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 pause start let, let uh, this will be a boolean because the start property of the timer is in the boolean type let's go with true so we want to set it to true then we want to go to our start property and we want to use this variable Hop. okay so now when we click the process the timer should start great if we hit process nothing happens Nothing happens because the timer and the, var the boolean variable, uh, which is true, it always will be true. And the timer, it doesn't start on the true value of, of the boolean. It, start, it starts on the change of the state of this variable from false to true. So in order to achieve this this variable at some point of time need to be false and it's true all the time because we already set it to true and if we go to this and the start we highlight this it's true it's always true now so in order to change this we would need to go to on timers and and just change this variable to false. Now, uh, also, we want to change the properties of this duration variable to 5,000 milliseconds, which will be 5 seconds, because after 5 seconds, we want to navigate to final screen to be visible. Oh, you know what? Let's make it three seconds. You shouldn't be waiting. Cool. What happens now? What happens now? Nothing happens now because uh, we uh, did not press the timer. Why? Because 
the variable was always true and it need to be false so we don't need to start this, this timer manually like this and after three seconds it will still reset to false so now if i press this one i start the timer again process this one start the timer again depending on also on your needs you may need to for this timer let's call it timer oh. in order for this timer you may need to reset this let's take a semicolon and let let let's reset our timer pause hop oh, great save it go process our timer starts it goes to the end and it reset uh, automatically of course you need only one variable to process this because the timer can be at three seconds period just because it usually will be invisible i'm just mentioning this because you may need to reset this timer if you want to depending on your conditions so this is how you do it great but how this affects this navigate timeout screen now well it doesn't yet we need to at the timer end also create a variable which variable let's call it variable navigate to final navigate to final active yeah. my invention today for setting variables names is not that great so sorry for this and let's uh, set it to 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 true so what it will uh, do at the timer send we will set this uh, variable navigate to final act to true but again we will have the same problem we need to set it to the false at some point of time okay so now with this variable let's go to the navigate to final screen button and there is a display mode property there so we have the display mode edit great but we want to create an if function to conditionally make this button visible or not hop so based on this condition on the var navigation to final battle uh, to final <laughs> battle to final active we want to create an if function so if if this is true we want the displayed mode to be added but if it's not true if it's false we want the display mode to be disabled it's disabled now because it's false so let's check it let's process one two three hop again one two three nothing nothing because it's still true it's always true and it's it's it wasn't changed to false so on the process button when we start the process timer we just want this uh, set this uh, variable to false so if everything is working cor correctly then for three seconds this will be false and then it will be true in all the other situations cool see we grade out, out the button navigate final screen you can also use this those timers in any kind of of pop-up window or in any kind of waiting screens if you want it's got a really large number of useful purposes it depends solely, solely on your imagination when you will be using this great so hope i've helped you if yes you can press like sub etc you can also watch my other power ups uh, videos i have created a lot of those recently so i hope that the learning process will be quicker with my tutorials and have a great day it's Bignie Fukowski out see you